Greetings, this is the Timeshare Traveler. Today is episode 198. Timeshare spa sales speak, translated by a timeshare owner who's owned for close to 20 years now. Um, anyway, what I want to really do is take what the salespeople tell you and actually turn it into what somebody who actually has used timeshares for a lot time have, can actually explain it to you. So that way, when you get into that sales presentation, um, this will be a helpful tool for you. Um, Here's the four that I'm going to cover today. You will save a lot of money by buying a timeshare. You know, all the vacations in the future, that, that standard one. The second one is, oh no, if you don't act now, I'll, I'll address that one. And the third one is, you can use your timeshare for car rentals, airfare, and more. And I'll translate in that into the reality of that. And we have lots of resorts who have many locations. So those are the my... Top four that I'm going to cover today, but before I do that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my channel. I'll be back in about 28 seconds. Hi, this is Cliff, and I'm the Timeshare Traveler. Welcome to my channel. The purpose of my channel is to educate those who love traveling in timeshares. I've been an owner, owner for 15 plus years at uh, Timeshare Ownership. I have elite ownership with Marriott, Hilton, and Worldmark. I have a, published over 100 timeshare video reviews, and I've published over 95 timeshare tips. I can be found on Facebook at Timeshare Trav, or Twitter Timeshare Trav, and on the web at www.timesharetraveler.com. I'm back. So, first one, you'll save a lot of money by buying a timeshare. This is almost always the beginning talk. They go through all the different, you know, how long do you plan to vacation? Here's what the cost is. Here's what the inflation is going to be with that. Um, so they're basically saying that, oh, it's, it's actually a great financial uh, a deal. Well, you know, it is true that over time um, it is cheaper um, to use your point maintenance fees effectively to book your vacations than it is to actually, you know, rent the hotel and so forth. But it's not as black and white as they say. First of all, let's talk about the timeline. I did it for the first two purchases I did just to make sure that I actually could feel that and it takes about seven years and that was with continually using the the points that's not skipping a year and figuring out what to do that's consistently using them uh, and I found it took about seven years and I used um, the um, like the TripAdvisor site or other sites sort of booking.com so I didn't use just the list prices so uh, still took about seven years so you have to think about that it's going to take seven years for you to get to do that um, now that also assumes um, that you're not financing it. So if you're financing, there's a bunch more additional costs, basically the, the loan. So again, what I always like to say, um, it's a luxury, it's not an investment, um, and you should treat it as a luxury. I also did it because I wanted to reward myself for working hard, so I wanted to have a luxury for working hard. So that was kind of it, but I treated it as a luxury. Um, the other thing is we always want a, a, a vacation at these resorts, and I'll go into that in a little more detail. So you kind of need to look at the list. Um, the other, the bottom line on this one is the more you learn, um, the more money you can save with specials, marketing programs, exchanges, bonus time, etc. So I've used marketing um, dollars even though I have to go to a presentation, but I'm used to that, and I'm comfortable getting an owner update. Um, but then that gives you another additional va vacation using the exchanges to book last minute uh, stays. Again, lots of opportunities to learn over time. But I wouldn't, someone just new to timeshares, they're going to, you know, it's, it's really a lot of work to figure out how to take advantage of that. So it's not as simple and easy as the vacation that you're on. And another one of my favorites is oh no, if you don't act now, the world's going to end. Well, it's not going to really end. And you can always wait. Uh, don't listen to this one. I, 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 you should be listening to yourself about what you need. They will always invite you back for another update the next time you're at a timeshare. Um, and it's, you know, it's true. Possible the cost will go up. Um, but however, it's better to pay more for something you know you need than buy something you don't need just because it's on sale. So I try to uh, uh, not, that should not be an indicator, even though it does emotionally affect me. Um, your focus should be on you and what you need. Have you learned to maximize what you already own? Uh, make sure you leave the presentation with at least one more skill on how to use your timeshare. I was at a 
Club Wyndham. So I'm trying to learn what the Worldmark new VIP program was. So I had the salesperson show me the Club Wyndham version of the same thing, hoping that will be the same. So again, I, that's one thing I picked up. Again, act when you know what you need, not because it's on sale. This is the one that kind of, um, this one bothers me a little bit because um, they, you can use your timeshare for car rental, airfare, and more. Well, it's true that you can, but my experience is when you look at the, you know, calculate the cost, so how many points does it take to rent the car, it's usually quite a bit more than if you booked it direct. So I just book my airline tickets from airlines, rental cars from rental car companies, um, because I find that using the points is really a, a much more expensive than running direct. And my point is, you probably have too many points then if you have to use them for all these other things. I think you should try to maximize the value, which is looking at the cost to stay, to stay in timeshares. That's the best benefit you have. Um, so that's what I, that's what I would say. Um, be very careful to know the best value is using your timeshare in the timeshares or timeshare very related, like using um, sister programs and so forth. Um, most people are not aware how much it costs per night. And again, I do know that. I track that because I'm constantly thinking, um, what's the value? <clears throat> I calculate my cost per point by dividing the total annual maintenance cost fees by the number of uh, points I own, and sometimes I do it co uh, points per thousand. Know how much yours are, so that way when you're looking at comparing a rental car or doing some transfer or a cruise or whatever, unless there's a special, um, in general, look at the cost and see what you can book it direct. You should not be, in my mind, you should maximize your vacation dollars, not do what's easy because it ends up costing you more. Okay, the last one is, we have lots of resorts to have plenty of locations. Well. Here's the first question I've always asked, and, and I actually know them for this, is, is how available are the locations to book? And also, what are the points? So did I, am I being pitched enough points to go to the places I want to go? So ask those questions. Oh, well, good, you talked about a two bedroom. Well, how much is a two bedroom at that place? Well, how much is it at that? And just points and say, oh, am I buying enough so that I could actually go to those locations? So. That's the first question. Um, did you review the list of locations before you bought? Now, in my case, I bought Worldmark because Worldmark is on the West Coast and I live in California. So there were a lot of locations close by, so I didn't always have to fly. So I was just keeping my cost low. I could drive too many of them. And I'm really, I'm, I'm really happy with that decision. Specifically, I didn't choose Club Wyndham because it's more on the East Coast, even though I can get to the Club Wyndham ones with uh, transfer fees. Um, and it's not that bad. So. It's not like I ex haven't expanded, but I knew my base unit, uh, base purchases would be good where I wanted it. I bought Hilton Grand Vacations, kind of the same reason, in California and um, Hawaii. And I upgraded actually Hilton when they purchased Diamond because that created a whole lot more locations um, in my area. So that's why I upgraded. So not only did, would it matter when I bought, but it mattered when I upgraded. Now, in the case of Marriott slash Weston, I bought just enough for Hawaii, and there are a couple in other locations in Phoenix and, and California, but primarily I don't own that much. I own enough just uh, for a week or a little bit more than a week, um, and that's primarily when I want to go to Hawaii. So again, that's my example of uh, buying based on locations and what meets my needs. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe.